Hi you guys, welcome to Kobe's Kitchen. Today, we're talking charcuterie trays, okay? We're talking about all about the boards. Um, I put up a beautiful board the other day on my Facebook, um, and so many people were asking me, Kobe, where did you even start? I mean, like, I just have no idea where to begin. So I thought, you know what? Let me do a video of putting together a board. I've done a lot of it already. So here we have what I do is a little um, like cracker board, just do an assortment of crackers, make it really abundant and beautiful. And then with a little French cocktail mix here of some olives, you can just do all different types of olives in one little bowl, perfect, easy. Now here's the actual board we're gonna be working on today. So what I do is I like to put my little cornichons right in here and I just pick a cute little dish. You could use a ramekin, whatever you have. I happen to have these beautiful little crystal dishes, so that's what I like to use. And then next, I just arrange my grapes, and that gives me a starting point. And I always start with my uh, cornichons in the corner. Now, I like to use three different cheeses. Here, I have a beautiful brie, okay? And then this is, oh my God, it's so gorgeous. This is the um, uh, goat cheese, and it has these beautiful basil leaves on top. And now this cheese over here is a manchango. And what I've done is I've sliced it really thin, but I want to show you now how I transport it to the boards. I just stick my knife under it like this, bring it over here, take the knife out, and then you can just kind of fan it out like this. Real simple, just fan it out and it'll stay really beautiful like that, okay? So that's how we get this over here like that. So the next thing we're gonna do is get our salamis, different salamis on the tray. All right, so the salamis are like this. You don't wanna just stick that down because it's not pretty, right? So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take each one and just take it simple, you guys. Just fold it in half, kind of pinch it, and then just lay it down. And then you just keep going and you keep building. And that's all you have to do here, okay? Is just keep building like this. Just get it going. And you can see I kind of move it about as I'm doing it. But you can see it's nothing tricky. It's not like, oh my God, what does she do? You know, it's just real simple. Anybody can do this. You're just folding it in half. And then sometimes I come in here, tuck it in there. And the main thing is just folding and tucking in just to make it look really pretty. Okay? This is what I wanted to show you guys. Just keep folding and tucking. Just keep fold and tuck. And then you can always add some as you're going here. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do is grab, this is a nice ham here. So you're just gonna take this and you're just gonna peel it and just kind of like let it kind of plop on top of itself like this, okay? Just kind of let it fall here. And then just peel another one. It's kind of messy, but you can see it's not hard. Just take it and just kind of peel it on top of each other. Just pile it up. It's all you want to do is just keep piling it up. Okay? And then we'll finish this last one here. It up. All right, so pretty simple so far, right? Don't you think? Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is grab some more salamis. This is a um, chorizo salami we're gonna throw in here. And again, same thing, just take it, fold it in half, just arrange it on top of each other like this. Again, pretty simple. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is grab my blueberries and kind of start filling in. That's what blueberries are so nice for you guys when you're doing these trays, because they can just, they're gorgeous first of all, and they fill in all these little nooks and crannies that we have. So just fill it in like this. So beautiful and simple, okay? Just like that, and next, you can take um, your almonds and just kind of throw them all about like this. Beautiful. These are the uh, Marcona almonds. I get these at Trader Joe's and they have rosemary in them. All right, now over here, 
I'm gonna take some of these beautiful, you guys, handfuls of these beautiful dried apricots. Just put them in the corner like this. And again, the trick to a beautiful board is just loading it up. Just load it up like that. The kind of the fuller, the prettier it looks, the abundance. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is grab some dates for over here. These beautiful, beautiful dates just to fill in here. And then strawberries, these beautiful strawberries I'm gonna put in here. And I cut some up and then I also leave some whole. I do a combo, and then you can also just kind of move stuff over if you need more room. You can, this is, a, it's like a working piece of art. You can just keep going with it. Just keep going with it like this. And then I'm gonna get some beautiful fresh edible flowers that I have, okay? And I'm gonna stick it right, I'll show you, I'm gonna turn the board around. I'm gonna just stick it right at the top of my cheese here. I'll show you how simple it is, I just stick it in. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then let me show you what else we're gonna do. Okay, what else do we need? Um, maybe a couple more strawberries. And you guys, that's that's it. That's the board. How easy was that? Let me turn it around so you guys can see. Okay. And there is our stunning, gorgeous board. And I didn't cook one thing. And I'm ready to go. I always put some kind of chocolate out with my board. So these are cho chocolate-covered almonds. Okay? And then that's basically it. You're ready to go. You have this fabulous setup. And then what I also do is um, I'm going to put out tonight, I'm going to put out a beautiful tray of shrimp cocktail. And I'll take some pictures and show you guys that. And that's about it. Okay? So thank you so much, you guys. I hope you guys make a beautiful trip. Enjoy. Thanks for coming to Kobe's Kitchen. Bye.